G'day, it's Dan Beeston for Tuts Plus. The computer mouse revolutionised the computing environment. It made interacting with computers more intuitive, but at the expense of speed. You see, selecting text with a mouse means that you've got to remove your hands from the keyboard and then wheel the whole device to where it needs to go. It's quite a finicky process. If you work with text a lot, you're probably going to be much better off if you can train yourself to keep your hands on the keyboard. So, without further ado, let's delve into the world of the cursor. First and foremost, very basic. Press the left button when you're going left, press the right button when you're going right. Great advice for typists and cab drivers alike. And if you want to move that cursor around the page a little faster, you can click down and up. That cursor will try to remain on the same vertical line. Now you will notice on empty lines that cursor jumps all the way back to the beginning. That can be really handy because if you press down it'll go back to where it was before. But if you want to go to the beginning of that next paragraph you can press right and it'll land there. If you want to go to the end of the previous one you can click left and it'll jump all the way to the back. This can be really useful because if you're at the beginning of your paragraph you can just go upright and you're back at the beginning. Two buttons right next to each other, super quick. But if you're in the middle and you want to get right back to the beginning of that line, there is a short key. Command on the Mac, left, and you go straight back to the beginning of that line. Command right, and you'll end up at the end. Want to go to the very beginning of the document, hold down the command and press up to go to the very beginning of the page, and command down to get to the very end of the document. Most people know these ones, but here's one that I just discovered recently and I love it. Hold down on option and you can jump one word at a time. Hold down and you zip through your text super fast. Want to jump to the beginning of that paragraph? Hold down option and press up to go to the beginning of the paragraph and down to go to the end. Need to go rush up and down the page? Holding down on option is the way to do it. Now. That's browsing with the cursor, but what about selecting with the cursor? Well, if I hold down shift key and go to the right, I can select one character at a time or go to the right and the same thing happens, even across multiple lines. It works again with the command key. Hold down shift command and press right and I go to the end of the line Hold down Shift Command and press left, go to the beginning of the line. Hold down Shift Command and press left, and then right selects the entire line. Want to select faster than just one letter at a time? Hold down Shift and Option, and you can select entire words at a time. Want to select whole paragraphs? Hold down Shift and Option, press up or down, and it jumps up by paragraphs. This allows a really clever little hotkey sequence. If I'm in the middle of a word and I want to select that entire word, I can hold down Option, go left. Then on top of Option, I can hold down Shift and go right. And there you go, I've selected an entire word. From that point, I can, of course, copy, cut and paste to my heart's content. Now, when there's a selection and you want to escape that selection, you can't just hit Escape. It won't work. So to get out of that selection, you can hit Left, to go to the beginning of your selection, or right to go to the end, or up to go to the previous line. Now on your keyboard you've of course got your delete key and that deletes backwards, but if you want to delete forwards just hold down the function key and that deletes forwards. And of course undo gets rid of that. Now that's all well and good for a text editing program like text edit or pages, but what about on a website? Well, a lot of these options are not available to you. You can't click and drop a cursor, but you can select. And then once stuff is selected, you can hold down Shift and alter your selection one letter at a time. Hold down Shift and Option one word at a time. Up and down, select entire paragraphs. But unfortunately, Shift Command won't work. And if you select all the way back down it vanishes and you can't go any further. But it can be a useful hotkey to have access to. Now these are a bunch of basic commands, but maybe you're a professional typist of some sort. Maybe you'd like more options. 
Well, there are some programs for the professional typist. A lot of these came from the coding world. If you really want to dedicate some time to becoming very, very good at moving that cursor around, you can have a look at something called Vim. Now, most of Vim is outside the scope of this exercise, but just to show you what you can do with Vim, I've got my cursor here on line 13. If I want to move that cursor up five lines, simply hit five up and it jumps up. If I want to move it 23 characters to the right, I can hit two, three right and it'll jump 23 characters, 23 characters again, 23 characters again. Or there are some extensions that'll even allow me to jump to whatever letter I want to. Let's move down to the M in mice down here. I'll hit my hotkey and hit M and you'll see that every instance of M in the document changes to a different letter. The M in mice has changed to a capital A, so if I hit capital A, the cursor jumps straight to it. This might be a bit much for you. This might be more than you need. And learning Vim takes quite a while. But maybe saving time in your typing is just that important to you that you're going to dedicate yourself to it. Now, one more trick I'm going to show you here in the terminal. Now, terminal is a bit frustrating because when you type, you can't just move the cursor around with your mouse cursor. You can select, but you sure as heck can't edit. You have to move the cursor using the keyboard. Now that's fine when there's only a couple of words here. But what about when you've got a really complex command that you've made a mistake at the beginning? You don't want to have to go back all the way through it. That can be very frustrating. So there are a couple of hotkeys. Now, if you've already memorized holding down an option key, then that's going to be easy. You can move by entire words at a time. If you want to remember a couple of hotkeys, you can get back to the very beginning of your line by hitting Control A. That gets you back to the beginning. You can jump to the end by hitting Control E. And if you've got no use for that line, you can hit Control C and try starting again. If you try to move up from one line to the previous line, it's not going to work because up is a hotkey that moves you back and forth between commands that you've already typed. And of course, if you're finished, you can just hit return and activate the line. Um, ah, all right. Um, well, that's uh, all I have on moving the cursor around. If you have any questions, please do leave them after this article and I will get back to you as soon as I'm allowed back on the internet. This has been Dan Beeston for Tuts Plus.